since we've started doing this segment, I've gotten a lot of feedback, and the vast majority of it has been positive. But I've noticed that even a lot of the supportive, keep up the good work type feedback often comes with the stipulation, I'm not a feminist, but... Now, I will admit that feminism is a bit of a tainted word. A lot of people have used it for causes of questionable value, and a lot of energy has been invested in polluting the term. So, some have argued that it should be abandoned altogether. I guess it's a lot like the word atheism in that way. But to me, the term feminist means I think women and men should have equal rights. So, whenever I read the I'm not a feminist, but thing, I at least hope me and the writer are using different definitions. So in an effort to better understand our listeners, I want to step outside of my usual position and discuss some of the bad things about feminism. For our first counterpoint, we'll turn to conservative columnist Diana West, who points out that too much feminism will inevitably lead to gang rape. In an interview with Frank Gaffney, she explained that the real cause of violence against women is that they're not treated like property enough. After all, people don't beat up their own property, do they? According to West, quote, if young women aren't prized and defended by a civilization, there is no civilization. And it's one of those things that we can say has come under attrition through feminism, end quote. This was all in response to a case in the UK where the authorities drug their feet on a group of men accused of multiple gang rapes. And as convoluted as her logic sounds at first blush, I checked and coming under attrition isn't an actual phrase. So I guess it can mean whatever the fuck she wants it to mean. But if you think gangs are the only things you have to worry about, think again. Because apparently feminist attitudes also lead to garden variety, single assailant rapes, or their functional equivalent, which is, according to anti-abortion crusader Carol Everett, consensual premarital sex. Appearing on the batshit Jesus show Wall Builders, Everett explained that the real goal of birth control is to encourage women to have sex with as many people as possible. And as if a healthy sex drive wasn't bad enough, she added that women who take birth control have, quote, gotten into much more perverted things now, end quote. And believe me, I'm as disappointed as you are that the quote ends there. I was dying to hear that old lady rattle off all the kinky shit she could think of. But alas, host Rick Green cut her off. When she got the speaking stick back, she explained that having sex with multiple partners is, quote, basically like rape, end quote. But don't worry, ladies. If you're being consensually raped, there's a solution. According to Everett, quote, it's a sick thing, and the only thing that can help us recover is Jesus, end quote. And as if gang rape and regular rape weren't enough of a downside, it turns out that feminism can also lead to a faggy army. This one comes to us from perennial scathing atheist favorite, Tony Perkins, who decried what he saw as the emasculation of our military on his Washington Watch program last week. And the way he got there was spectacular. First, he had to establish that there was a biological difference between the sexes. Now, he could have gone with the presence or absence of a dick, but he chose an altogether baffling route instead. Quote, I like the difference between the sexes. I like the smell of perfume. Look, I'm fine with wearing cologne, but I don't want to smell some other cologne. I like perfume. End quote. So after what he seemed to think was a solid demonstration that man and woman are separate words, he concluded, based on nothing but that, that letting women into the military will lead to the emasculation of our country. Because I guess he thinks all these well-trained army ranger chicks are coming for his dick. And I, for one, hope he's right. So yeah, I guess when I step outside of my own preconceived notions, I have to admit that there's a dark side to feminism, too. All that being said, Fury Road was still fucking awesome. And with that, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath.